Hello, this is Vera Pitervonen and in this video you will learn how to set up a PayPal business account. Firstly, you need to go to www.paypal.com so paypal.com and then look at a button that says sign up. You click the sign up button. At the moment that you look at the video, the PayPal site Landing page might look a little bit different, but you always find the sign up button. So click that one. And this is a sign up page that you will see next. You will need to use your country of residence. If you're in the United States, you would choose your United States from the drop down menu. Or if you're in any other country, you will find your country here, a country that PayPal is presented in. And PayPal is very international, and that is one of the strongest features of PayPal that is accepted and it's functional in so many countries around the world. So you choose your country of residence here in the drop down menu. And the next thing is that we are now setting a business account. So this is for merchants who use a company or group name. You need to have at least a sole proprietorship. So you, especially here in Singapore, it's very simple and straightforward process to get a sole proprietorship name here in Singapore. So get that, at least that one and create for your business and choose the business PayPal account because your business name will appear on the payment page for your client who's making the payment. And that definitely gives you more credibility. They will be more comfortable with making the payment and it just look more professional. So to get started, we click the yellow button here. On the business account sign up, you have to fill in information. You have to choose a business type. Then you put your business name, the official address of it. After you have entered the business name and address and postal code, you need to choose a currency that you use most often for receiving and sending payments. If you're doing a local business, well, you use your local currency, but if you are offering, for example, training or digital material on sale globally, you might want to use US dollars. Next, is it's time to choose a category. And here they have listed several categories and you choose, pick up one that is the nearest what you do. So if you are doing charity to not pro, not for profit, then there are a lot of different choices here. As you can see, and the one I'm doing that uh, my company, we offer services for coaches, trainers, small business owners. We help them to build their online presence and uh, extend the business using the internet as a marketing media. After that, you choose the subcategory. Here you put the date of registration. When did you register your business name in your country of your residence? and uh, business URL. So this is basically your website URL, but as you can see, it is optional. If you don't have a website for your, for your business, but the thing is that if you want to collect online payments, it is pretty good to have that website where you can actually put the buy now button on. Next, you need to fill in business owner contact information. So this would be your name and given name and uh, some other details. And after you have filled that, you click continue. And please note that if you have any questions about how to use a business account or if you have any problems of filling the forms, please contact PayPal. They have this contact us link on the bottom of the page. On the second page of business account sign up forms, you need to uh, put here an email address that firstly you will log in into your PayPal business account and secondly that will be something that is visible to people that make payments to your PayPal account. So I would not recommend you to use a personal email address here. I would actually suggest you to use a domain email address that is something like sales or customer service or support or info at your domain name.com. Next is the password. It has to be at least eight characters and please don't use your name or email address. And you also have to mix uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers and symbols. And it's definitely important for you to keep your password safe. After you have re-entered your password, you have to choose a security question, actually two. So you will choose one from the drop-down menu. 
And finally, prove that you are human by entering this code here to the textbook here. Also, I advise you to use the user agreement and privacy policy of PayPal. After you agree that and you are, are telling that you will obey the law in your own country, you can tick this one and click the agree and continue button. That is all what is needed to actually have a business PayPal account. So I will receive some emails from PayPal to this email address that I sign up the business account with. And this is the email address that I will log in to new business account. In the next video, I will go through some business account setups that are pretty good to have on place before you start collecting payments from your client. So please look at the next video to learn how to do the business setup inside your brand new business PayPal account. This is Virbi Tervanen of Visit Trade Returns. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.